Hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a long distance relationship question video or tag. I found this on YouTube. A girl was doing it and I was fine trying to find ways or um, ideas to do videos. And so I found this and I was like, this is awesome. So I'm going to do it. So, um, number one is how do you keep your relationship fun when you're in a long, when you're long distance? Well, there's a lot of things. Um, we, we text all day and we Skype at night or we call on the phone. We send like cute pictures to each other and well, I mostly do, but, um, send like little quotes or like little little cute things that remind us of each other or um you know there's so many things you can do but it is hard to what kind of problems do you guys have to go through because you live so far apart um obviously the first one is not seeing each other and um that's probably the, the biggest one is not being being able to see each other every day um Living so far apart is something that is not, it's not for everybody. You know, you get hate and especially the drama and the negative people. That's one of the problems we have living apart. That's just not for our relationship is long distance. That's pretty much for everybody. Even if you're not long distance, you know, there's just negative people out there to bash your relationship or, you know, put thoughts in your head or whatever you want to say, you know, it's. Yeah, but, um, yeah, those are the problems. Um, three, would you recommend long-distance relationships if you have no other choice? Um, it's really their decision, you know, it's, like I said, it, long-distance is not for everybody. It's a tough thing to go through. But if you find the right person and you want to make it work, that's up to you. You know, you can always make it work. And sometimes it doesn't work out. But if you're really wanting to be that person, and then you can make anything work. Anything's possible. How do you guys spend holidays? For example, do you open presents over Skype? No, we don't. This is... um. We've only been dating for, we've been dating since May 3rd, 2015, so that's almost a year, and, um, for holidays, we didn't really do anything. We, we just normal schedule, like, we didn't get anything, we didn't get each other anything, like, we didn't want anything but each other. Um, basically, if you were to ask us what we wanted for Christmas or whatever, it would be to be with each other in person, and, um, that's hard. But, um, yeah, we didn't, we never did anything. We Skyped and we hanged out. We hung out, like, normal. We didn't do anything special. Um, it's hard to say goodbye to each other after you've had a visit. And how many times have you had to? Um, we haven't met yet. So, that's kind of a hard one. But, to just the future when it does come, um, I don't like to say goodbye. And... It's hard because when you've been attached to somebody and you've, like, spent time with them in person and then the time comes when you have to say goodbye, that's probably the hardest part because you know they're, they're going to be leaving you and they're not going to be there anymore. It's going to be really tough because you, you want them there all the time. And, yeah, that's going to be rough. But, you know, it's, it's pro I'm trying not to think about it, like, when it comes down and everything because I know we have to say goodbye at some, at some time for now, but it's just, I don't like it. I get really upset over it, but, um, I get, like, anxious. Was it hard to, was it hard to get to know each other's friends since you actually couldn't hang out with them? Um, I've talked about some of my friends, um, he doesn't talk to my friends. I don't talk to his friends. We don't really talk about it. I know about some of his friends, he's told me little here and there, you know, things about him. I've told him things about my friends, um, but we really don't really go into deep conversation about it, you know. Um, yeah, we just don't talk about it. How 
How do you celebrate each other's birthdays when if you're not with each other? Uh, like we do on holidays. We, um, you know, tell them happy birthday and everything, blah, blah, blah. But we don't do anything special. Like, I guess we're lame. Like, I don't know. We just don't do anything special. We're not that kind of like, or it's just not, it's not that we're not excited. We are excited, but it's like, we don't have anything to do like you know like you're far away from each other so you know we just didn't want to do anything but um spent time with each other is probably the best thing how do you spend anniversaries um well we've only been like i said we've only we've always been together a year but if you're saying on like a monthly thing we like I said, we keep it normal. We don't do anything crazy or special, you know? It's just, it's really hard, you know, to really do stuff long distance. And Skype has saved our relationship. Because if we didn't have Skype, we probably wouldn't last as long as we have. Um, You get to see each other, you know everything, but it's not in person, but yet you still get to see them. So... How are you able to keep in touch with each other's family still? Um, <laughs> um, I know his mom knows about me, and I think everybody's family knows about me. Um, some of his friends know, his boss knows. Um, I don't talk to them. I probably could, but I don't talk to them. Um, my, my boyfriend has talked to my mother in text message, and, um... It's pretty much as far as it's gone. Of course, I haven't been up there to see them or anything yet, but um, I will. How do you help each other get through difficult times? Um, we basically talk about it. We we don't really get in like huge fights. They're not even fights. They're like little arguments, but they don't last very long at all. You know. Um. Yeah, we we usually just talk it through or just drop the conversation because it's really not used fighting because fighting, I mean, every relationship has fights, but I just don't want to argue, you know, it's like, we're not trying to, but it's better to just get out of the way and just like talk it out and just, you know, just get over it. When will you see each other next? Um, since we haven't met each other, there have been times where we plan and then stuff's come up. Um, hopefully next month. It will be the time because I'm so ready. Like, there's no feeling or emotion to tell how, like, ready I am to see this guy. Like, it is just ridiculous. I cannot even explain to you how ready I am. Um, what do you, oh, this is a good one. What do you dislike most about relationships? Um, obviously not seeing each other like in person all the time you want to, I want to spend time with him all the time but you can't because you're long distance um you know spending time like them with like seeing their family and like spending time with their family and you know just little things like you just want to be there with them and yeah it's hard you know, it's just not, I mean, dislike, you know, and also, like, when you text, like, you could read something, and I or my boyfriend could misunderstand it, and we kind of be, like, confused or whatever, we misunderstand, kind of, like, get an argument, and, I mean, there's emojis, don't get me wrong, like, <laughs> they help, but it's still not the same, like, you just get sometimes mis misunderstood it or something and you just you know you just can't tell sometimes during, or through text um, are there any positive aspects to long distance relationships um probably the big one is it builds loyalty and it builds trust that's probably the big thing and long distance relationship you hear about all these bad things that happen like you there they're get cheated on or something that's the big one and for me, 
trust is a big thing because trust is something once you break, you can't get it back very easily. It takes time. So trust and loyalty is the biggest thing that you can have. It keeps your relationship strong and positive, but it's like you have to have that good trust built because without trust, I feel like there's no relationship because you, we are very open in our relationship. Like, like we tell everybody everything. Um, but I've started to, since the drama started, blah, 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 people will say stuff on Facebook. And I've decided to keep that part on Facebook private to a point because people, like I said, have their opinions. And so, you know, I just, what's that saying? Your, your relationship lasts longer when nobody knows your business. That is true. Of course you can, you know, you can post whatever you want, but you know. I'll say just stay positive about it. Don't let people tell you what to do. If you're happy, screw it. Don't let them ruin your relationship. Because if you're happy, that's the only thing that matters. Um, there, It's not you, him, or him or her, and the other people or whatever. It's just you two. So, um, stay positive. So, that's my video. Um, yeah, I hope this uploads because... I've been trying to upload videos before, and my I have an iPhone, and without downloading Capture or whatever it is, I it still won't upload. But um, hopefully it'll upload, and I can have a video up because I haven't had one in a long, long time. So hopefully that work. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll have. A video soon next or whatever hopefully um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye